and for the second time today I am live here but today we are on FIFA to ask you one very important question my name is the gaming Blake and my question is what team should I be for FIFA 17 now obviously you guys know my very first video is a career mode video and I'm sure you guys will remember that for the people who were there for the long term however for people who are new I do want to do some vid FIFA videos it's just that at the time I was starting the channel it wasn't the best time to start the FIFA videos. So what I've decided to do is let you guys vote on what team I should be doing for FIFA 17 career mode since we got about a month to wait for it. It's better to get it out of the way now. There's going to be two videos. First, we're going to decide what league to pick. And then afterwards, I'm going to let you guys decide uh, what team in that league we're going to pick. There will be a straw poll down in the description for you guys to vote on, so be sure to do that. And uh, without further ado, let's show you the leagues. We have 10 leagues for you to choose from. Um, 10 leagues that are roughly all kind of similar. You would expect these, but I'll break them through anyway. So first off is obviously going to be the Barclays Premier League. The game has had the most work on it. Um, the reason I'm picking the Prem, obviously I'm an English person myself, BPL, most popular league in the world. But there are a lot of teams we can work with here. As you can see, I've updated the, um, uh, the promotions and relegations. So there are a lot of teams we can work here. We could do some very different stuff. So for example, we could do Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal fan. I could um, try and make them decent again, try and bring them back to Premier League glory, hopefully try and win them their first ever Champions League, do something like that. We could go for one of the newly promoted sides like Burnley or Hull, where's the other one, Middlesbrough, yep Middlesbrough, or we could always go with Leicester and try to win the double, which you think would be easy, but of course with a club like Leicester it probably will not be, especially with the rating system. Or we could go with a smooth disabled side like Southampton or Stoke or Sunderland maybe and try and get some glory with them. I think that would be a cool career mode to do. Um, that one would be more of a short-term one, but I'll hope whatever career mode we can do, we can do from multiple seasons just to see how things develop. Moving on to option number two, uh, my personal favourite. You guys obviously will have different opinions, but my personal favourite is number two on the list, which is the Football League 2. This will be a road to glory style career mode, bringing a club from the absolute bottom to the top of course not all the teams are here the people who came in from the conference are on FIFA 16 so I'm just showing you through FIFA 16 what I feel that is um, gonna happen that is um that's obviously the league, the league teams but it could be cool to bring someone like that of course they've got some nice players in this league like Wiccan for example my boy Akin Fenwa uh, Portsmouth um, I'm actually going to the University of Portsmouth so it'd be interesting to start one with them Maybe if they're not so rich next season, I don't want to kind of make it easy and just have an amazing budget off the bat. But there are some interesting teams here, so that could be one to consider. Moving on down the list, and um, this ain't in any particular order. You'll see it on a different order in the list. But we have League Un. Now, uh, League Un or League One, whatever you wish to call it, is an interesting one. Now that Zlatan Ibrahimovic isn't here, PSG are strong, but not as strong. Their attack was definitely weakened by losing Zlatan Ibrahimovic and I feel like we can capitalize on that by picking a new side to rule the French League maybe get Monaco a title someone like Lille maybe Montpellier Nice of course who signed Balotelli last night which was a pretty decent signing for them so um, yeah loads of options here to do in French League I think that would be a nice one we could do someone like Nancy I think or Dijon to uh, to you know really give them a push someone who's just come up of course he's obviously Dijon. Uh, and then we go to the Football League 2 in France, where a um, similar kind of thing with the League 2. We build a team up and get them better again. Uh, some of the teams I'd be thinking about, maybe Paris. Paris would be a nice one to have a capital team be like the best in the country. That would be really good for them, I feel. Uh, Red Star, that seems like a cool name. Uh, Stade Ramis, who just came down. Uh, their ratings will probably drop next season. Uh, but yeah, so French League 1 and French League 2 are other choices there. We also have the Bundesliga and the Bundesliga 2, similar kind of style. Uh, idea with the Bundesliga, if we pick it, is to build the next super team, A, to beat Bayern Munich and Port Dortmund, but also to win a Champions League. So teams like Eichek Frankfurt would be uh, a good example. Maybe bringing back Schalke to some strong glory, Hamburg. Uh, I don't think Hertha Berlin would really be up there. Maybe one of the new relegate uh, teams coming up, like Leipzig, I think that's how you pronounce it, or uh, SC Freiburg. But someone like Wolfsburg, maybe, that would be nice. 
So that could be nice. And then in the Football League 2, uh, in Bundesliga 2, uh, bring in one of these teams, same as uh, French League 2, to the Prem, uh, to the Bundesliga, and making that work for them. Stuttgart, of course, going down. That would be an interesting one, bringing them quickly back up, building a squad ready to compete in the Bundesliga. Moving on now to the next set of choices, which is, so hang on, we've got the two English leagues, the two German leagues, the two French leagues, and now we have the two Spanish leagues at number seven and number eight, La Liga and Liga Adelante. Uh, the reason I'm going with, yeah, with these two is because La Liga is obviously going to be the best team. Uh, but the target for this one won't be to win... Uh, yeah, the same target will apply for the Bundesliga. Beat Real Madrid, beat Barcelona, build a new super team to win the Champions League, and that's the kind of thing I think you guys would like. I think something like that would be cool. So someone like maybe, I don't know, perhaps Granada, Celta Vigo, Atletico Madrid, I don't think classifies. Or maybe again, one of the relegated teams like Villarreal, uh, not really, <laughs> Villarreal, uh, one of the promoted teams like uh, As Asasuna and, Le and Legans and that. So something like that might be intriguing to you guys. So you guys let me know. Of course, once we pick the league, we'll talk about each team that I'd like to do in that league individually. But I'll leave that for you guys to decide. So yeah, and then same for Liga Alante. Bringing one of these guys up to fame and glory in La Liga. Um, of course, you may be familiar with Spencer's series, which he does with, uh, which he did with uh, Real Oviedo before he ruined it and bought out financial takeover but there are loads of interesting clubs to do in Spain that could be a good option and the last two on the list which we're coming back to are the Syria and Serie B as you probably could have guessed um Syria is an interesting one because um right now it's a league this season going to be dominated by Juventus they've made some massive signings they already had probably in my opinion the best defense in the world um, that is going to be an interesting side to take on next season. So they'd be favourites to win. But what I'm thinking is that with this team, we could potentially take uh, one of the Milan clubs, AC or Inter, back to former glories of Champions League winning sides. Uh, and things like that, that could be really cool. Maybe Napoli get them a Serie A title. But then again, we can pick one of the lower clubs like Palmeiras or maybe Torino getting Joe Hart into... Uh, into the game that would be an interesting one Udinese of course uh, they're slipping down a little bit in my opinion uh, so that could be an interesting one or Serie B we could build from scratch a brand new Serie A super team the Serie A famous of course for um, for producing a fantastic talent and I think that's what we would be looking to do in the Serie A so those are your 10 choices however there will be an 11th choice which is other and if that is the most common vote, then we will look at some other options. The uh, the J League from uh, Korea, that is an option which you guys might want to take. Because uh, it's a new league, you might like it, you might not. That is up to you. We could do something like the Portuguese League. Uh, the SPL could always be an interesting one. Bringing Rangers back in will make things really interesting there. Uh, Switzerland could always be an interesting one. Someone like Basel or BSC Young Boys. Or we could always do the MLS, not the most entertaining league. In the game but of course we can see some old legends here and we can really have fun with this league I've done career modes with them uh, with teams like this in the past it is really entertaining so in the link in the description there will be a straw poll please be sure to vote on it to see your opinions on the channel I want to make sure this channel is all about you guys if you guys want to vote on this please do and also um, leave a comment for what kind of teams you're thinking so that I can get a general gist of what you guys want to see if you guys let me know um, I'll give it I'll give this poll some time to go over but otherwise I think generally I'm happy with letting you guys choose the stuff that happens so um, that's it for me today so you guys have the poll in the description please go vote on that and that should be it for me today sorry if you've had any mic issues if I've had um, uh, if you've had any audio problems in this video, my mic's uh, fuzzing a bit, so that's why I'm saying that. But that's it for me today, so I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to vote, and peace.